Hey guys, it is officially day eight of my 30 day challenge. Um, so awesome for us to be back at our our business, uh, reopening our business after so long of um, just not being able to do much. Circumstance. Uh, However, it's still nice to have it here, definitely. Um, so, today is a start off with a coffee. And I've been drinking black coffee for quite some time. Um, about a week now. I'm strengthening up. Uh, definitely the workout regimens are more cardio. What put that? More cardio. But it's awesome. Okay, so. Day eight. Um definitely i've been working out more i've been running up and down stairs uh jogging i feel a little pl pain sometimes so taking it slow taking it easy we are back at our moving company is back up and running which is awesome unfortunately i probably won't be able to be as much help as i was but i think i just think uh I think us for being back on the map, like changing families, moving companies, which is which is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Safety first, you know what I'm saying? Definitely with our experience, you want to do safety first. Ah, this boat. But yep. So we just got finished um, loading some people up, and uh, definitely have my back brace on. Need it more than ever nowadays, but. Um, I'm excited. I'm, I see the results, the change in the body. Uh, body composition is getting slimmer. And then uh, last week, I focused a lot on just vegetables and protein. But this week, um, shrinking it up, gonna do fish, not tilapia, salmon. Did salmon yesterday, it was amazing. It tastes good. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, one thing's for sure, uh, just like a little word to the wise for day eight, it's probably gonna be just stay focused on your goals. Don't let anything come in between you and your goals and what you really wanna accomplish. Whatever you really want to accomplish, do it. Don't be afraid, don't let fear get to you, don't let your mind uh, stop you from thinking that you can't do it, just do it. Because to be honest with you, um, if you don't take a risk, you're not going to live life. And uh, if anything has taught us since like so many unfortunate events have happened to us this year. Um, and this is my brother Mike, a.k.a. the CEO, a.k.a. the artist, a.k.a. Wait until we come out with that clothing line. Hashtag is going to be awesome. Bars. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely... Um, I absolutely love my brother. He is uh, the CEO of Changing Families Moving Company. So he's great. You will definitely probably see him a little bit on, on my videos. Be, uh, he may be, end up being like the camera behind the scenes guy. Right now I'm doing the editing, but he excited me because he said he wants to go to go learn, take some classes for social media or something like that. So, you know, you might see us do it, but we always work together. Um, there's nobody else I would really ever want to work with when it comes to business but my brother um, because we trust each other and even though we argue we get over it and I, I just remember we were uh, moving somebody to like West Palm West Palm I'm gonna tell you something we will never go on West Palm for vacation I know it it's probably nice to you guys I'm not saying West Palm is not nice but we just had the worst, absolutely worst experience with West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, it just, to us, we're just off it. We we probably never move anybody to West Palm Beach, Florida, ever, ever. Um, it just was a bad experience overall. We got so we moved people to West Palm. We got stuck in West Palm Beach, and then in all actuality, I think, at, and we end up. The only way for us to really get out of West Palm is to was to go to Miami to fly out of West Palm Beach. So we got stuck there for like about a day, slept in the U-Haul. It was rough, but like those things are what make that 
that is what makes people great you know those experiences that we have when we have our own business is what what builds us and makes us great and and we learn from whatever our mistake was the day the day before we change it the next time and um, it really wasn't really our mistake but we did make a couple of mistakes because you do when you make a business um, if you're not making errors you're not making money if you're not making errors you're not progressing because every error that you make is it, it's a learning process it's definitely a learning process and um, my brother taught me that more than anything and, you know we used to get frustrated with certain things that I don't think every affected us after we learned that we were like oh man this happened okay well now we know and he would always say it and I would always be like oh now we know now we know but now I see it as like when you start your business when you have your own business when you're kind of like solely in charge of of everything when you have a business partner it's just you two guys whatever goes wrong is 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 in your court you start to learn things and you learn things fast but you also learn things that you or go through things that you would never think you would go through you never think like we'd be driving down to west palm beach florida and sleeping in the truck because well we ain't got the money to be wasting on our hotel like we gotta we gotta do what we gotta do you know unfortunately you know when you do that there are going to be people who have their certain frustrations and don't understand what you're going through keep pushing forward and keep progressing because as you do that it, it it's what makes you great so that's gonna that's a little bit of a word to the wise for my um 30 day challenge day eight uh you guys just just keep watching like subscribe um share it guys please i mean i my life purpose my goal is to help people and 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 to get to where i've seen others get to um, but I don't have to be rich. I don't have to be a millionaire. That's not really what I'm looking for. My, I just want to teach and improve and empower youth and empower people. And if I can have a conversation with you and have a testimony and at the end of the day tell you, hey, I've been through this before. This is what I did. That's That means more to me than anything. So, Kali Kells here. 30 day challenge um i guess i'm gonna have my brother think of a name for this 30 day challenge because i don't know what the title or the name of this 30 day challenge is re really is gonna be but i'm pretty sure it's just gonna be like like i don't know get lean like get lean what what is it if, if i'm slimming down if we're I'm swimming down. This is the 30 day challenge, but I have not been able to think of a name. Give me a name. Just throw it out there. It's it's all vegetable based, uh, plant. It's plant based and pescatarian, like fish based, uh, more than anything. No hard uh, meats and all that. It's got it's got to be like a little short, quick, get lean challenge day one day two you know what i'm saying like like it would go on day eight hey i'm gonna keep it real with you guys i keep it real with you guys keep it honest i'm thinking about the name right now i haven't even thought about the name yet you know but by the time i post this video i'll have the name and i'll post it and you guys are gonna hopefully you guys are watching when you guys watch man y'all are probably gonna laugh at this part but yeah definitely um so yeah, I'll definitely come back to y'all. I probably won't have the time to show you guys what I eat today, but most likely asparagus and salmon. What I had yesterday is what I'm going to eat today. Yes, I absolutely love asparagus. If you guys are like, oh, he's always eating asparagus. Yeah, I love it. Um, one thing, I do have a sweet craving. So instead of eating sweets, I decided peanut butter and jelly, no bread. Just peanut butter and jelly in a bowl, bro. I swirl it up together and that's my dessert. For real, like I'm. That's where I'm at with it. Like I can't do those pies and all that. Like I was messing up about it, you know, before when I started to start the challenge. But no, man. There's days that I really just only crave vegetables. 
I understand why people change to vegan sometimes when they do one meal a day because there are cravings of just vegetables. It's crazy. All right. Day eight. I'm out. Talking too long. I'll see you guys later on.